you very much, uh, Stefan, for your overview over the last session. Fellow member state representatives, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now it's my honor to set the scene for this session on policy frameworks to enable the transition to a circular economy. A circular economy holds enormous potential for economic development that is both sustainable and inclusive, as well as for climate protection. We need new policy frameworks to tap this potential. Since 1970, annual global material consumption has tripled and it is continuing to grow. The extraction and processing of resources accounts for about half of all global greenhouse gas emissions. However, less than 10% of resources used worldwide are recycled or reused and the waste crisis continues to grow. The systemic transition from a linear approach of take, make and dispose to a circular system that saves valuable materials is a matter of the utmost urgency. And it also provides opportunities. It can create new business models, additional jobs and help us to decouple our economies from the ever growing consumption of natural resources and rising CO2 emissions. In order to achieve that, we need to significantly increase the amount of materials recycled. We need to promote resource efficiency and above all, we must prevent waste. Policy frameworks are essential to realize and shape this shift. We have to internalize costs, set the right incentives, create new standards and integrate informal workers. German Development Corporation is supporting more than 20 countries worldwide in their endeavors to develop the circular economy and reduce pollution from waste. For many cities in emerging and developing economies, one of the biggest challenges is the financing of waste management systems. Experience suggests that a mandatory extended producer responsibility EPR scheme can help to generate the necessary finance for increased collection as well as more and better recycling. According to the polluter pays principle, the producers and retailers pay fees for the amount <coughs> of material they put on the market. Policy frameworks like EPR are also an effective tool to, to incentivize resource efficient and recycle friendly product design. To adapt complex local policy frameworks towards more circularity, an international exchange of experiences, multi-stakeholder cooperation and financial support are needed. Under the patronage of uh, the German Minister of Economic Cooperation and Development, Gerd Müller, the Prevent Waste Alliance was initiated in May 2019. This month, Prevent celebrates its second anniversary. And to date, more than 200 member organizations from the private and public sectors, academia and civil society from more than 30 countries have joined this international mission towards more waste prevention and circularity in low and middle income countries. Prevent Waste Alliance is contributing towards the new global dynamics. Ich habe das hier gefunden. To, to push, sorry for that, to push forward the development of the circular economy. German Development Corporation is strongly aligned with the EU's action plan on circular economy as part of the Green Deal. The Global Alliance for Circular Economy and Resource Efficiency, the GACERRE, recently launched by the EU, is a great initiative to increase awareness for a circular economy among governments. Germany intends to support its work 
through the International Network of the Prevent Waste Alliance. The Federal Ministry for Economic, Economic Cooperation and Development, my BNZ, intends to place even more strategic em emphasis on the transition towards more sustainable production and circularity. Under BNZ's 2030 reform strategy, a circular economy will become an integral part of our core area, climate and energy. We intend to increase support to partner countries interested in working more towards a circular economy for achieving their climate targets and raising ambitions under their nationally determined contributions the NDCs. For this, we are looking at, at coordinating our activities more closely with the NDC partnership, the EU, UNIDO and other interested partners in the run-up of the COP26 Climate Summit in Glasgow. Thank you for the great opportunity to share these thoughts in this distinguished forum. I see that Germany's concepts and plans regarding the circular economy are very much in line with the strategic debates taking place in the regional and now in the global consultations organized by UNIDO. I thank UNIDO for organizing this great event. Thank you for your attention.